Ladies and gentlemen, every Canadian schoolchild knows the story of Laura Ingersoll Secord. On the evening of the 21st of June, 1813, Laura overheard American officers billeted at her home in Queenston discussing plans to capture a British outpost located at John de Cue's house, 32 kilometres away, near the area called Beaver Dams. Early the next morning, Laura left her wounded husband and young children and walked through enemy lines and dangerous terrain to warn the British and their Aboriginal allies of this impending, impending attack. After many hours of difficult travel, she encountered an encampment of native allies who escorted her to the British command headquarters at Decue House. The rest, as they say, is history. Now, I, I do not believe it is overstating matters to say that without Laura Seckold's bold warning, Canada may not have existed as a nation today. If I may say so, Laura Seckold was, in many ways, an ordinary person living in extraordinary times. She was a, an immigrant, a political refugee, a wife, and a mother of seven whose daily struggle for survival pitted her against the challenges of pioneer life in a difficult and often harsh frontier environment, uh, against a volatile background of political instability, economic hardship, and imminent military conflict. The roles played in the founding of Canada by many unsung heroes and heroines like Laura will probably have been forgotten, and their struggles and sacrifices gone unmarked. Indeed, if it had not been for the patient perseverance of Laura's family and supporters, and I'm glad to say, the recognition of her deeds by my great-great-grandfather, King Andrew VII, when he was Prince of Wales, I wonder if Laura's own remarkable story might also have been overlooked. Laura Seckord was a brave and committed pioneer woman, uh, an extraordinary example of the kind of pioneering early Canadians who rose to the challenges of their circumstances with exceptional fortitude and heroism, and who, in doing so, contributed to the building of Canada. Now, 200 years after Laura Seckord's courageous exploits, and more than a century and a half after her first official recognition, it is time to celebrate her lasting legacy once again. The Laura Seckord commemorative walk will commemorate her dangerous and courageous journey that June morning in 1813. Of course, this commemoration is not only about celebrating Laura Seckord's exploits for their own sake. In remembering her, we remember the contributions of so many of her remarkable contemporaries, not just pioneer women, but Aboriginal peoples, artisans, and other modest and marginalized people of the day, as yet unknown to history and unheralded by posterity whose everyday efforts were so essential to the difficult and noble enterprise of building a nation. And looking forward, this is a time also to celebrate today's unsung heroes and heroines and inspired ordinary citizens, some of whom my wife and I were lucky enough to meet during our visit to Canada last year for their continuing selfless contributions to Canada's present and its future. I can only conclude by wishing all those who are participating in these commemorations my warmest good wishes for the success of your celebrations and favourable weather conditions for your long trek 